hey so today you know what we're gonna do we are going to try to set up a new studio area it's still gonna be in my living room with my desk and everything but i just got a new mac mini so i wanted something on a desktop because I want to be able to pull my laptop to my bed or to somewhere else and not be confined to one area because I had the laptop set up and then I had the actual cords and everything kind of hidden and set up already in a way that was permanent so I needed some kind of desktop so I bought a Mac mini which is taking some getting used to because I haven't used a Mac computer since I want to say 20 14 or 15 around there and I haven't repurchased a Mac so Getting used to the scrolling direction. I had to change that because it was on my nerves and just getting used to like uh, Instead of delete it's called move to trash things like that. So minor things, but um Quickly seeing that I absolutely love the Mac OS system especially with editing. Oh my god It makes it so easy to edit things on the computer and then not on the computer on the iPad and then just quickly airdrop it to the Mac that's like my favorite because I'm able to like do something on procreate and send it right off so I'm getting all the stickers ready for obviously the sticker shop drop what the heck am I calling it the sticker launch there you go that's a better you know this room does get the best light, which is why I bought the standing desk and put it in this corner in the first place. However, because now I'm going to be packaging things and I need a little more room for like supplies and to package, this is a corner stand-up desk. Plus, I want to get a little more active, so I do want to buy, eventually I want to buy a walking pad, a little treadmill. So my thought is to move this over however that means I have to remove the monitor I currently have off the wall which is gonna have two gaping holes that the landlord is gonna love me for but I'll fix that obviously and move this guy there and then figure out what I'm gonna do with that desk so I thought I had it figure out when I was away but I come back and now I'm like not so sure if that's the direction I want to go with. So it's been like a... What are you going to do, Sally? My name is not Sally, by the way. So what I ended up getting is you're actually standing on it. But it's a monitor mount that you attach to the desk in the back. And then you can put your monitor. I want to be able to set up like my tripod in the living room without having to remove it and i want to set up a podcasting area i want one of those stands that your mic stands on huh? and so that i can sit and record the podcast in the living room plus i need lighting so i'm gonna try to make over all of that will it all be in this video let's just call this part one deciding on if that's what i'm gonna do so stay tuned so basically this is the mount this is what it looks like this part attaches to like the lip of your desk again this is a standing desk and then I just mount the, the monitor here on the side I have a 24 inch I was going to get a bigger one but I think that will actually still be good I also got a different tripod that's going to be specifically for videos up uh, videos specifically for short form content and then I'm just gonna leave this for my actual like camera filming I need to get more lighting in there so I'm trying to figure out how to do this and then this is just my over what you gonna call it this is when I record um, iPad videos playing with me which is why I'm gonna miss having this height because when I record plan with me I just put my iPad here I stand up and I um, draw and because of this light this this area has more light than my living room so I like to record over here because the, the living room looks very very dark and then if I record on the table that table shakes a lot so so I'm just trying to figure everything out 
don't mind the mess i just got back from new york and i'm repacking to go on my cruise so there's that and also like mind your business i'm going to start constructing this i still haven't figured out if i'm moving my desk I'm still in the i don't know but let's construct this um laughing because this little thing my son's father came in and he was like this looks so cute and non unassuming but it's a freaking weapon he was like this little pink cloud cutie thing is a weapon <laughs> so funny so this is uh just a little box cutter in the sh shape of a cloud because i was tired of uh opening packages with a scissor and always losing the scissor somewhere so i'm gonna go ahead and open this and construct it and then we will figure out pretty much what i want to do next so i'm about to put some friends on or watch some youtubers and then get to building this crap to be honest i think what was stopping me was knowing that all this mess lives was knowing that i'd have to fix all this mess and take this off and put in the new one and I'm not feeling it but I'm gonna get this done because I want this to be my work area and I was going to leave it in the room but I kind of like being in the front I could see when my son comes in with his bike I can see people walking by I'm towards the door and if he sits here and we watch TV I'm still in the living room space to where once I get a real office and I move, then that'll be different. But right now, I kind of like being in the living room space. That's just me. And yes, tons of mess. So, I ended up having to put everything back. Excuse my shoes and the messy area. Because I ended up buying a new desk. I'm actually going to sell the corner desk because it's not working in my room. It's just not working here. I need places to put this is my this is gonna be my packing material no what the heck is this oh this is the boxes for the club members I'm like what is that I have a few more junk going on over there I'm not even gonna zoom you in cuz why you don't need to know that and once my standing up desk, my new one comes in then I can place it here it is gonna be a little bit wider it's gonna be 55 inches which actually takes up this space so I would have to move this couch over and then try to configure out this living room as well and especially this rug it's cute in theory but I think I need to do something with it and I just need to declutter so one of my tasks when I come back from vacation is to set up my shop have all of my stickers everything done and set up my um recording station i want to put like a little one of those little dividers if i find like a cute kind of like vintage one then i'll add it here so it can kind of hide like the tripod and the lights and all that crap from there it's a mess over here because i had to move all of this stuff off the desk and then i just left it there and then the table looks pretty this is just a i was dusting so all of this looks still nice these two things are for the cords again that i didn't fix because i don't want to and then hopefully this table sells because it's a stand-up desk but i had to remove the two sides because it just would not come out of my room so hopefully it gets sold so I can get this crap out of the way and yeah that's where I'm at I just currently did my stickers I did an anxious but cute this sticker sheet um, this is the book one this is emotional support whoops emotional support water bottle and then girl gang and then I'm gonna do a few more place this order and I'll have kind of like the first part of my stickers for the shop opening so think that's it i'm gonna finish up the travel one today at some point but i'm having a creative slump so I'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna do as far as the travel ones not sure you know when you're getting your situation as a woman your creativity is 
shot I'm gonna insert a I'm gonna insert a reel that I did on this so you know exactly how I'm feeling right now yeah do you want to help not really okay because I'm having no creativity no mojo dojo for what I'm gonna do with the travel stickers as far as like what words I want to create around them so they've just been sitting there waiting for me to upload them you know inappropriate so you know I usually don't come on this camera looking like this but whatever I'm going to show you my sticker organization I'm not sure if I showed this on my TikTok or if I recorded it for YouTube but anyway I'm gonna switch the camera around I'm gonna show you both where I keep all of my kind of like electronics and then the sticker section and then you kind of get an idea of how I want to set up my desk I want to have everything kind of readily available so when I record it just comes natural to me that's the look I'm going for and then when I have obviously my whole entire office I'm gonna have stuff coming from the walls out of the ceilings it's gonna be a whole thing but until we get there we got to work with what we have all right so for this I have my packing label which is one of those that you have to wet in order to adhere to the package but it does have my logo on it KG designs Chloe George designs is what it stands for and then I have my little individual sticker organizer so those are the stickers that I have made already I think I got like 20 of each or 15 not sure um, I just got a few to again to round out the store when I first opened so I could have a few things I'm not sure how I'm gonna photograph these that's gonna be my biggest issue and then I have a cute lady I don't even know how to price them yet but I have a whole notion set up for this shop this is the cutest I made this into a sticker sheet the emotional support Kindle um, I made it into a book lovers sticker sheet so these are gonna be for all of my single stickers this is gonna be for my bookmarks I'm gonna have um, to start with I'm only gonna have two I'm gonna have this one and the one that says um, I read porn like a fucking lady something like that and then I'm gonna put my sticker sheets up here so I'm gonna have three sticker sheets to begin with. this was the trial one didn't come all right I already mentioned that and then I just have some other things that I need for the business and then I have my labels and then more sticker storage so these are gonna be for like the bigger stickers so I do want to make stickers that you can put on your water bottle or like your Kindle like this one and I have so this one came out incorrect came out way too large so I'm gonna probably have like an oops bag or something cute like that and then this is just like miscellaneous stuff my electronic stuff is over here and then this is the mailer now I need to figure out where I'm gonna put the actual mailer for the just the products just the packing and all of that so don't know if I mentioned in that in this video but this is what I plan. This is a shoe organizer, but I'm going to remove all these shoes that I don't even wear out of here and make this whole section just all of my mailers. So this one I want on my desk because I'm going to record my plan with me on this, but I think I'm going to record them on my iPhone actually because it comes out clearer than my um it comes out clearer than my camera. Cause it's so dark here that my camera likes to dim the lights on me so I don't know I'm getting a new stand like magnetic one for my desk I also need with the desk I need storage because the desk doesn't have any drawers of its own and I need to pull whatever all that crap in the new drawer system I want to clear this space out to put my tripods so I need to configure this and figure out how I'm gonna do I need to get rid of this vacuum cleaner so there's a lot of decluttering and 
figuring stuff out that's pa actually packaging material that's my um tissue paper and other junk that i need to figure out as well so it's going to be a lot of decluttering i need to get rid of this table it's a lot so so this is basically going to be i'll do a, a full walkthrough once i get this to where no one needs to go so this just has my shop the weekly task i want to do blah 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 i think let me see the shop is supposed to open september 15th which i don't have a date on it like i said i haven't uh updated this i'm just kind of working on it so that i can go ahead and fill all my things up here are my listings i'm not going to put in anything digital because i have way too many digital products this is just so i can check my inventory for my actual shop plus i'm gonna add some different things it comes income in balance um income and expense tracker weekly task weekly tasks is something i want to look into um so i have this the weekly task and i want all of this to kind of go back to my today page which is where i do my weekly task or my daily task and then i plan everything out um through here through all of my goals blah 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 you get it so i want to try to fix this up i'm gonna do again once i start using it more add the stuff that i need to use then i will show you kind of like a walkthrough of what i've done but for now it's empty um we shall see a few quick updates i just got my mailers um these are for stickers i believe my bookmarks fit in here but let me check looking at it it's not going to so this is going to be solely for stickers small stickers if you ordered if you order a bookmark it's not going to go in here because it's not going to fit these things are quite large um, this is my first one that i did that's going to have to be handled some other way as far as packing i am currently updating all of my shop items not shop items shop images for the digital stickers i changed my banner now it says chloe george designs a creative design shop digital and print stationery shop digital digital and print stationery shop so it'll have like prints digital planning digital stickers i'll probably change the name of this and then the next thing is going to be physical stickers i think that's the name of it or print stickers i don't know and then i'll add everything's pretty much going to be blue this little like light blue moment but I might make the physical stickers a different color for my brand because this colors don't no longer vibe with me and I don't like this font. So I wanted to make it a little cleaner. So I've been updating pretty much all morning while also watching Friends because I love it in the background. So I have been trying to, to create a travel journal and planner so I should have a so it's going to have, not should have, planner, itinerary, budget, packing list, and a journal. Um, I like the idea of journaling. So this is like one of the covers I'm going to fix up. This is just, this one as a cover was just a template from Canva. And then this one I kind of made up. So I'm trying to figure out which one of those I want to include. And then... I'm working on the inside pages so this is not going to be ready until next travel season because it's too much work and I don't want to rush it so I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay this out I do however like the little journal section um, like a vintage feel with like the vintage paper and then you can write and then I'll have one that's just blank so you can do whatever you want on it so I'm working on that but on my regular dot dot planner she already has she doesn't have the journal part of it which I can always do in Lux book for now until I make my own but she does have a pretty decent like travel 
planner so she has a travel itinerary this is like the map this is the itinerary she has the budget a checklist or a packing list and a checklist I guess for things you got to do outside of it but me being me obviously I have my whole um, trip planned out in Millinote okay it's not the whole thing because these outfits are not from this trip these outfits are from my New York City trip so I have to update that but I do have like the whole itinerary the excursion times um, these two excursions I'm just gonna <clears throat> write the information down my flight information my embarkation time which is 2 30 all the resources the invoice and I can access all of this on the Milano app and then if I have if I want to remember what outfits I picked out for the trip I can come in here and look at that I do these in Canva <clears throat> but I pretty much have everything that I need I also have like get ready for departure so all that information there in case I forget something I can go in here and change it again I also have the booking confirmations just in case I do have the app but I like to have things redundancy is key so I like to have things in multiple places in case one doesn't work out my email doesn't open things like that so that's what I'm doing so I'm gonna use this sparingly but I'm really going to be planning in here I don't always forget an outro but when I do it looks like this <laughs> thank you so much for joining me on another studio vlog I promise I will continue what happened to the desk in part two apparently I abruptly ended this without even realizing it so just enjoy me working on a procreate class that I've been taking so I can better my skills at it coming soon we will have more studio vlogs and some productivity mixed in there plan with me's and all the things so if you enjoy my videos please like and subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you'd like to see for me going forward